What are you looking at? What are you looking at? What's what's on the ground? What what's on the ground right there? Oh, what? We're on? Oh shit. Alright, good positions. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Pokemon Heart Gold Randomizer Nuzlocke. I managed to stop myself before I said leaf green. So in the last episode, we got through the basic introductions of the Johto region. Uh, we got our starter Pokemon, our boy, Flyboy. And we battled our rival, who's a dingus head, for the first time, and then we caught our first Pokemon. Now, I did just a little bit of training off screen. So, yeah. My main intention was to get uh, Fiona up a few levels. Uh, still does not know very many moves. And yeah, Flyboy got a few levels too. So, here we go. Now we have to, what do we have to do? We have to uh, go to Violet City to challenge the gym. Now I don't, I don't think we're going to make it to Violet City. Or no, we are going to make it to Violet City today, but we're not going to, um, what's the word? We're not going to get to the gym. That's what I'm trying to say. So, we can actually, uh, we can get a few encounters, uh, today. Oh my god, if these Raikus will ever let me go. Okay. And one thing that I noticed, uh, when I was playing back the last episode was that, um, I noticed that, uh, all the, uh, Pretty much, um, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Um, all the sound effects that are coming, like Flyboy's Cry, uh, pretty much all those sound effects are, um, they're like louder than the ones from, uh, the other side of the field, if you will. I don't really know why that is. I mean, I've been trying to, like, I was trying to mess around with like some mic settings and output settings before I uh, started recording this one, and I just I couldn't like figure anything out. Like nothing was really working. It just sounded the same every time. Okay, actually, we can get an encounter up here. Um, yeah. So this is Route 46. Now let me just go with my map for a second. Um, yeah. So this is Route 46. Oh, actually, this is Route 45. I never knew that. Oh, I always just thought that this whole thing was one route, so whatever encounter I got here was also going to be my encounter for there, too. That is actually... I'm very glad that I came this way now. Um, so, yeah, we're just gonna... Hello. Yeah, you, you go, girl. Alright, so we're just going to get an encounter here. Let's see what we can get. Alright, who's it going to be? I'm pulling up my Wingull. Okay. Let's see. Um, we actually cannot damage this Wingull uh, with Fiona. So, uh, I'm actually going to... I actually kind of want to look this up real quick to see uh, what I can do about Wingo. Now Wingo, if you have 100% health left, I have a 27% chance. So if you have, let's say, 35, then I'll have a better chance. So let's see if Flyboy can uh, whittle this thing down just a little bit. And that, that actually works in our favor that he's using Growl, because then we'll be able to roll him down a little bit more. Oh yeah, Flyboy learned Wing Attack also. So I'm going to have to change his moves around just just a little bit. Okay, that is right where we want it. Yes! Perfect. So this is going to be our second Water type and our second Flying type if we manage to catch this Wing Ball. Here we go. Wow. Wow, we got the whisk cash in one ball, but not the wing gull, huh? And I don't think I'm going to be able to whittle him down anymore without killing him, so I'm just going to keep trying. Come on. 
Yeah. Yeah. Bada boom. Alright, so... Alright. Wingull, the seagull Pokemon. It soars on updrafts without flapping its wings. It makes a nest on sheer cliffs at the sea's edge. Okay, Wingull, what's your name going to be? So, let's see. Um, I had a Wingull slash Pelipper in Ultra Sun. His name was Redemption. Um, so your name can be... Your name is going to be... Vengeance. Why? I don't know. Let's check out our boy Vengeance over here. Vengeance has a stone plate. That's actually pretty good. If we get any uh, Rocco typos, and just change that around really quick, and that's a that's a good nature. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna move this here. Move this here. Perfect. Okay. Um. So now, that's one encounter down, and now we can casually make our way back to Cherry Grove. Hopefully we don't get... Oh boy, oh boy. Banzai! Ah, oh, god damn it, so close. And before you, before you start saying, Oh, why aren't you fighting these Raikus as, um, as, uh, Fiona? Because she's a ground type and they can't, uh, they can't hit ground types. I believe me, I tried. Uh, these things do have bite, and when that does about, I'll say, 80% of your health with one hit, I was like, mm, no thanks. But they don't have any electric type moves because I was, I was training um, Flyboy with them just fine, and um, like they weren't using any electric type moves, so. That's fine then. Yeah, so we'll we'll heal up, and then we're actually going to go to the uh, the Pokemon next door, so we can buy more Pokeballs. Um, all right, here we go. All right, who are you? Yeah, I don't have anything to sell. I could sell the Drain Punch TM, but I really don't want to. Now I'm going to buy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy ten of these. So that I get the 10, and I also get the free Premier Ball. Which is what I mean, I still have the 5 potions in case I need them. Um, hopefully I won't. So now, here we are on Route 30, and our encounter for Route 30, I'm just going to try to catch it and then run back to the Pokemon Center and run back. So our encounter for Route 30 is... Here we go... Kabuto! Another, another water type. Okay. Hopefully this thing doesn't have a door. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And Scratcho. Okay. Let me just scroll up to Kabuto. 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 Where are you? Kabuto. Not Kabutops. Kabuto. Uh, now let's say, no, let's say 50%. And I, I actually, let's say 48%. Now I, I mentioned this last time, and I feel like it's worth noting again that, uh, the catch rate calculator I'm using is from the lovely people over at Dragonfly Cave. So if you want to go check them out, then feel free. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just switch out Fiona. Go on a flyboy, try to whittle him down just a little more. Because if we can get him down to 10%, that's we're in a pretty good chance of uh, of capturing this this year, dude. So fingers crossed. Don't kill. Okay, that's that's fine. Okay, Harden. I wish you did that a turn ago. Uh, but we're just gonna try anyway. We got 12 Pokeballs, and we have a 50% chance within four balls. So yeah. Okay. And we like. <laughs> It says we have a 95% chance within 17 balls, which we do not have. Alright. 
Let's like do that. Here we go. One, two. Yes. Excellent. Sorry for that. <clears throat> Kabuto, the shellfish Pokemon. On rare occasions, some have been found as fossils, which they became while hiding on the ocean floor. Alright, um... Okay, now when I think of... I'm thinking more of Kabutops here. And Kabutops with his... with his scythe hands, so I, I think I'm gonna name him... I think I'm gonna name him Grim. But I, I don't... Should I go with one M or two M's? Yeah, I'll go with two M's, that looks pretty cool. Alright, Grim, let's see what you're all about. Grim does not have an item, so he's a failure to me already. Um, he's the first thing we have that's actually in the <laughs> the Chodo decks. That is a good nature, yes! And Flame Body, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, Flame Body's pretty good. Um, yeah, so... Hmm, okay. So now we have we have a bunch of dudes, right? And I think what I want to do is I want to get uh, Grim and Vengeance up to level five, just so they'll like they'll be able to, I guess, hold their own against uh, against the upcoming. Because there's two trainer fights coming up, so. All right, let's see. How much do you need? 37 and 61. Oh my god. Okay, well, I hope you... <laughs> so, what I think I might do is, um... I might speed it up a little bit? But if it's if it's a little bland, I might just cut it entirely. Uh, so yeah. Here we go. So yeah. Ooh. All right, here we go. So, Macargo, huh? Well, luckily for you, I have a water gun for you. If those things keep coming up, this is gonna be a piece of cake. This is actually gonna be a lot quicker than I thought. And I hope you guys don't mind if I like speed it up a little bit. If I have to, like, okay, yeah, that's not pleasant for me. Uh, I really hope you guys don't mind if, like, during episodes. Not episodes, but like, during parts of episodes like this, if I have to like, speed it up for training or something like that, I hope you don't mind, because sometimes training goes a little slow, and see, Vengeance is already where I want him to be, so that is a-okay, and now we're just going to train up Grim, and then we should be fine. Alright. I was really hoping those, uh, those leafy ones were going to keep showing up, but uh, I guess not. Yeah, Grim, you can do it, Grim. Bitch. Alright. Come on. Mm. Alright. See, this is something that always freaked me out about uh, Kabuto. When I was when I was a kid, is that like the little black dots on his head? God damn it. Hmm. Oh, and he traced my flame body. Never mind, I'm at Oh, no, no, no! Oh my god. Grim, Grim, Grim. You gotta get out of there, buddy. Does this dude have, uh... I'm crossing my fingers here. Does this dude have, like... No, he, he doesn't have any other moves. That... Oh my god, I almost just shit my pants. Oh my god. Uh... Okay, so one more and then we should be fine. Uh, Jesus Christ. Remind me to not fuck with Groudons like that again. Dude, he traced my flame body. He knew. He knew. That's so... that's wild. Alright, yeah, this should be fine. Hopefully it's an angry buff. Or another Kabuto is fine. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go up to Vengeance. You can't scratch my vengeance. Let's 
See, see, a lot of the time, if I'm just, like, training by myself, like I was earlier, I'll just, like, turn off the animations. But I didn't really need to, uh, for this exact, uh, point. But, oh well. Let's see, I'm just gonna heal up, and then we will be back. I can't, dude, I can't wait until we get, uh, these, these two, count them two, guaranteed Pokemon eggs. You know why? Because that is two guaranteed Pokemon that we get that I don't have to, um, and we're back. Yeah, that's two guaranteed, god damn it, get away from me. It's two guaranteed Pokemon that I don't have to actually encounter to get, um, Ah, oh, fuck you, you can't mud shot me. Yeah, get out of my face. Alright, so... Hopefully we don't encounter too many more of those. Let's just keep just shaking these trees like it's nobody's business. And a grun, a precarn. <sighs> Repels are also something that I can't wait for. Um... I don't really want to lead with Grim for the train of fights though, because uh, I just don't. Uh, I just don't like that. And also another thing is, uh, I just thought of this just now. I have early Wonder Guard turned off, just so I don't get like fucked over. Because right now I have uh, some normal type moves. These are the types that I have: normal, water, flying, and ground, and that's it. Like. Four types. Oh my god. Four types. No, no. That's bad. I mean, I could have five if um, if I used the Drain Punch TM. I just lost. So I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. Oh, oh you're messing with the wrong lady today. Weightlifter Cammy. Yeah, how, what, what weights do you lift? The two and a halves? Bitch. Alright, let's see what Mime Jr. is going to do. Maybe he's going to do Copycat. Or Barrier. Yep, that's... <clears throat> that's fine. But does Barrier raise it twice? And he might not have been able to hit... Okay, so never mind. Um, I guess even after two accuracy drops, you can just hit me with Confusion. Nope. Three accuracy drops. He's gonna hit me again. Yep, there it is, right there. I, this was in a different file. I literally was at my, or plus six evasion. I had a muck, and he, I used minimize six times. Okay? Six times. And this dude was using god knows what. I think it was like fury attack or something like that, which even then has not very good accuracy to begin with. And he missed me once out of like 10 turns. I was getting so triggered. And yes, we just gave this little boy our number because that's what I, a 10 year old girl, would do. Uh, not this guy. Uh, yeah, we can still leave the piano. You're a Pokemon train, right? Then you have to battle. It's like the first rule of Fight Club. Weightlifter Noel with your Nidorino. Okay, I like that. I like hitting. Hmm. Okay. Drought is interesting, please. Hopefully, we can just uh, just slap you with some mud. Slap, slap, slap. slap, slap, slap. Clap, clap, clap. Oh, yes. There we go. And it only hits me anyway, but you know what? I don't care. Slap, slap, slap. Clap, clap, clap. <coughs> And Nidorino is dead. Alright, cool. And what what do you got next? What do you got next? Something good? Licky Licky, huh? Nah, I'm scared of Licky Licky. That that thing probably knows Power Whip. And I'm I'm not trying to fuck around with Power Whip because half of my team is quad weak to grass. So 
I am not messing around with that. Flyboy can just come in and just clean up. Or lick. That works too. Okay. Yeah, there you go. That'll that'll learn ya. So Flyboy's gonna get up to level ten. Or oh, oh my god. For a split second I thought he was gonna get up to fucking level eleven. Oh, so you don't want my number. You you must not think I'm good looking. This fucking bitch. Alright, she's not a trainer, she means nothing to me. Um Yeah, let's leave with Grim. Why not? See now I'm gonna get like Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna get a fucking arena trap bell sprout. It's like kicking my ass. Can you get away from me, Kabuto? Like, see those like fucking red things right there? Those are his eyes. Isn't that so creepy? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! It's happening again. Okay, so yeah, the, if this happens once per episode, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little a little angry. Um, alright, so we saved the game, and now we're just gonna reset right here. I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit, come on. What the fuck is that? Give me one second. Give me one second, please. Hello, sorry about that. I had to go investigate some mysterious noise that was accompanied by my my new cat sprinting through the house, uh, which I found nothing. So I have no idea what's going on anymore, and I'm convinced that my house is haunted. So yeah, let's kick this guy's ass while we're at it. Instead of a bug po instead of a bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. I don't know why the the phrasing of that sentence like weirded me out for a second. Schoolboy Jasmine. Hilo swine. Oh man. Um actually, yeah. Vengeance can get in there on this one. Okay, Mr. Vengeance. Peck, why does this thing know Peck? That's that's weird. Um My mom texted me, presumably asking what that noise was. Quabble. Yeah, we're staying on that. Um, yeah, we're gonna walk in. Oh man, I can't wait until I get good moves, and like, I can't wait. I can't wait to have a full team. Okay, Vengeance is now level- ooh, Super Sonic is good. I like that. Okay, um, now what we're gonna do, uh, I'll tell you what we're gonna do, we're gonna get another encounter, boom, 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 because now this is Route 31, and we're gonna get a super cool encounter in Route 31, um, and I'm gonna lead Vengeance, so I can supersonic a fool, and on Route 31 our encounter is going to be...
A Magikarp. How exciting. Okay, um... Supersonic, I guess. Or maybe... Actually, I can use Water Gun, that'd be fine. Uh... Well, this is a crawl. So, this is... Our fourth Water Type. Our third Flying Type. And our first Pokemon that's absolutely fucking useless. Right now, that is. Um, should, I, should I just go for the Pokeball right here? Yeah, why not? Like... How exciting, we caught a Magikarp. Oh boy. This is like the fucking Game of the Water types right now. And I know I said the same thing about Leaf Green, but then now it's true. Magikarp, the fish Pokemon. And uh, they're always so mean to Magikarp in the Pokedex. An underpowered, pathetic Pokemon. What? Pathetic? Oh my god. <laughs> It may jump high on rare occasions, but usually not more than 7 feet. This is really funny when you consider that in some Pokedexes, it says that he can uh, jump over a mountain. Okay, um... Jesus Christ, um... I, I got nothing right now. Um... Well, you know what, this, this might be some bad karma right here, um, but you know what, they, they said in the Pokedex, so I might as well repeat it here, if I name you pathetic, I want you to prove me wrong. Pathetic, okay. <laughs> Let's, t let's take a look at Pathetic the Magikarp, or would it be the Pathetic Magikarp? I don't even know. Oh my god, that nature is so bad. <laughs> that nature is so bad. At least Volt Absorb isn't bad. The problem is, that's going to change if and when uh, it evolves into a Gyarados. So, I don't know how useful that'll be to us. Um, and a King's Rock is very nice, and I like how I get the King's Rock at the very beginning of both uh, playthroughs. Now, here, here's the Dark Cave, and um, we can actually get another encounter over here in the Dark Cave, and we could potentially fill out our team. So our encounter for the Dark Cave is an Illumise. Okay. Let's, uh, let's take a look at you, Illumise. Illumise, Illumise. Or if you want to say Illumise, ooh. That's, you're all pretentious. Ooh, Illumise. It's actually Illumise. I feel like I had a moment like this in, in uh, Leaf Green where I freaked the fuck out because uh, I didn't argue me because I didn't want uh, it to. You know what? You know what? I'm just going to have Grim whittle this thing down a little bit. Okay, Grim. Scratchy, scratchy. Okay, now, Grim, I'm going to ask a favor of you, and do not critical hit on this move. I almost just shit my pants, because I thought right as I was saying that, that he was getting a crit. You know what, um, let's, let's give you some pizzazz. Let's use a Premier Ball on you. I have like a two-thirds chance of catching in this, so... We should be fine. Yeah, we got it. Alright, Illumise. Illumise. Oh, actually, that's that's pretty funny, because I caught a Volbeat in uh, Leaf Green, I think. Alright, so... Illumise. 
Illumise, the Firefly Pokemon. Its fragrance attracts a swarm of Volbeat, so they draw over 200 patterns in the night sky. Um, now... Let's see, when I caught the Volbeat, I named him 10 million. So, um... Hmm... Uh, I'm gonna name you... I'm gonna name you 10 billion. Alright, hopefully it'll fit. Billion. Boom! There we go. You will not believe your eyes if 10 billion fireflies. Alright, and there's an, there's an item in here that we can get, and I'm determined to get. Holy shit! There's wild red jets in here. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Because that thing knows explosion. And I know that because I had a fucking... Fucking panic attack during Leaf Green. If you remember. Because that was the only move it knew. And I hatched it from an egg. So. Hopefully this isn't a red jice. Oh, I could have got a Celebi. Well, there's no fucking way I would have caught that Celebi. So. I guess we just have to be happy with, uh... 10 billion fireflies. <laughs> um, Alright, so now we're coming back down here. And shake that tree. And a bulk apricorn. And this guy. Well, this guy's asleep, right? <laughs> I walked too far today looking for Pokemon. My feet hurt and I'm sleepy. If I were wild Pokemon, that'd be easy to catch. And he just... You know, that dude has narcolepsy. Are you kidding me? 1 HP, what's up? Alright, 10 billion fireflies. That's not a bad nature. That's a pretty bad ability, though. It's very situational. I don't know if I'm ever going to get to use that. <coughs> um, yeah. We'll get an item down here. And a full re Wow, okay. I'll take a full restore this early in the game. What's up, bitch? I caught a bunch of Pokemon. Let me battle with you. Uh, no, I don't battle with peasants. Turtwig! I love Turtwig! Deadass, though. Turtwig is my favorite starter of all time. Uh, yeah, I'm not really feeling risky right now. So... Alright, and you're dead, so... Sorry. It's been real, dirty boy. Thirteen spins. Um, meow. I'm gonna go to Grim for this one, because Grim should resist everything this meow has. And even if he doesn't, I have fucking potions. And I don't think Meow over here has potions. So fuck you, Meow. Wow, that was actually really good. Oh, but he has rough skin. That's annoying. Oh man, this isn't gonna kill now. Rough skin. Oh, but you're burned now. You like that? Oh, I guess you're not. Never mind. And we're gonna hit with rough skin again. That's annoying. But Grim's finally gonna get that level up. Um. Uh, oh, and absorb. That's very nice. That's very nice. And Teddy Ursa. I think same rules apply here. Let's yeah, let's, let's go for some absorbs. Why not? Grim could use some training. He he doesn't evolve until level forty. So, oh god, <laughs> it could be a long, long road for our, our boy Grimy. All right. Oh no, burn. Why? Why? Why won't you burn anybody? The one time that Flame Body got traced, I got burned. So I expect you to burn somebody. Oh, now I'm gonna get paralyzed. Or not? That's fine. I enjoy that. And now, what is this dude's last Pokemon gonna be? That's the real question because it's definitely gonna be like an Arceus or something like that. So Viper, interesting. Now, how many 
has three mud slabs left. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope that that's enough. Especially if this is like level two. I'm gonna hope that it's enough. All right. So let's uh, slap, 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 clap, 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 and we can get it done in two. And yeah, fuck, fuck your raps. Dude, you're never gonna be the next Eminem, the next Wiz Khalifa, the next, uh, the next Post Malone, the next insert rapper here. And Fiona is gonna get the level up, so this is good because everybody's slowly starting to catch up with, um, what's this fuck, um, Flyboy. And we're gonna give this dude our number, whatever. Um... Alright, so we, we are so close to Violet City, you guys. Oh, man. Now, I don't think this thing's gonna have Wonder Guard, so I think this is gonna be just a little... Oh, it does have Wonder Guard. Huh? But abilities are randomized. That's freaky. Never mind. Goodbye. Um, yeah, so the only one that can hurt that thing is, uh... Flyboy. Okay. Holy shit! Holy shit. Holy shit? Okay. Okay. I'm scared now. I am scared now. Um, um, um. I have the biggest weakness to electric I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, Fiona cannot get hit by thunder shocks, so you can fuck right off. Okay, and we made it. Alright, cool. So we're... Yeah, we made it. Or, no, we gotta talk to this asshole first. I love how I'm not even talking to him. It's literally vengeance is talking to him. I knew it was you, queen. How'd you get past me? Here's something neat for surprising me, queen. Cool, wow. I I can't battle people online, because this is, this is a totally not an emulator. <laughs> I just don't want to, I just don't want to get in trouble. What do you, what do you have to say? Answer me. We care about the traditional buildings around here. That's why even the Pokemon and Pokemon Center is painted a bit somberly to blend in. You know what? I, you know what? I like that. I like that. Shard to berry, shard to berry. I don't have any shards, so you're not getting any berries. Hold on, let me enter this place again, because I'm pretty sure I love the music for this place. Yeah. I've evolved. It's like this and Olivine City have the same music. Um, and, uh, yeah. Alright, so. So here is uh, something interesting that I can do, and I'm, I'm gonna do it right now just so I don't forget before uh, the next episode. So, um, I need to look away for just one second so that I can, uh, go on my phone real quick. Uh, Pokemon, Heart Gold. Primo codes, yes. So. Um, mm, oh yeah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put our best friend Pathetic in the PC because this is, <clears throat> because this is where we can get our first Pokemon egg, you guys. Now, let me just say that, um, the, uh, the normally Togepi egg that you get, that one isn't optional, like, you always get that one. But this one, you can get three from this guy, actually. Um, but it's completely, uh, completely optional. In fact, I didn't even know about it until this past summer, so. Let's see, so. Actually, I need to look at my trainer ID. So my trainer ID is 24190. 24190. Heart gold or soul silver. In English, and we're gonna send it 
And now we are going to get our secret phrases. So, I'm just normally uh, it's a Mareep, Wooper, or Slugma egg that you can that you can get. I'm going to go with whatever is in the Wooper egg. So here we go. Let's try this out. Hello. I should be a familiar face to every Pokemon fan. I'm from the TV show, The Show Me Show. That's... Ugh. I am Primo, the big brother. Today, would you, one of my fans, tell me what you think of me? Yes, of course. I think of you... Uh... Can I... Ooh. Uh, I think of you heat-proof... Bath. <laughs> that is what I think. Heat proof bath. I never thought it. I never thought of it like that before. By the way, how do you like the way I am so exciting? How do you like the way I am so exciting and fun? Ooh. Um. I think it is cleverness. Shield dust. That's what I think. Cleverness, shield dust. Um. <gasps> you are an ordinary fan, knowing such a thing. You are a trainer, right? I'll put. I'll pull. S wow, that was going in a completely different direction. I'll pull some strings for you. I can swing you a deal and give you this egg. Good. Take care of it. No, I'm not. I'm not looking at a uh, what it is, but you can see in the recording. Oh, God damn it! I just looked. <laughs> so it is a Nitto Queen egg. Um, so yeah, uh, we got a fucking Nitto Queen egg. I thought that it would just it would just exit out of the text immediately. I didn't think that it was gonna. Um, I didn't think it was gonna just like stay there. But yeah, so we got the uh, Nitto Queen egg, and we got to Violet City and. Guys, we filled up our team in this episode. Like, isn't that awesome? So, I, I don't want this episode to drag on too long because I feel like this is a good uh, stopping point right here. So, this is going to be the end of this episode. Episode number two, part two of the Pokemon Heart Gold Randomizer Nuzlocke. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, leave a comment down below telling me what you think. And if you really like my content, which, I mean, I hope you do if you're here, then shall we... Who? Fuck off, kid. Yeah, I was... A... No, I don't care about your fucking mind, Junior. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. That's not just any mind, Junior. That's an advanced mind, Junior. Guys, I'm really scared right now. Um, so, so yeah, if you enjoy my uh, my content, uh, please subscribe so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Um, so, with all that being said, uh, I'm Sarcastic Sloking, and I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, I don't get killed by any any top percentage mine juniors before the next episode. See ya.